All sixth graders, it's that time of the year again. Pick a group for the cultural fair. Make sure you get your selection sheet into your history teachers. It will be another great cultural fair on May 31st. Attention students, don't forget to check the lost and found for any items that may be yours. They will be donated at the end of the day today if not claimed. The sun has been shining, but what does that mean for this weekend? Here is Reed with the weather report. Hello Panthers, welcome to Gems TV Weather Now, and I'm Reed Jones, and I'll be the one directing all of this. On Thursday, the sun will be out with a high of 82 and a low of 55, so, you know, warmer weather, wear shorts. On Friday, we'll have a high of 72 and a low of 49. Clouds will be out, so don't expect to wear shades. Saturday, we will have a low of 44 and a high of 58 with a part chance of rain, so still going back to the cooler weather. And on Sunday, we will have a high of 62 and a low of 45. Back to the desk. Dozens and Dragons Club meets every Thursday in Room 101. Come by for a new adventure. And now it's time for Sports with Trevor. On Tuesday, the 8th grade ladies flag football team traveled to WC Riles Middle School and played a close, exciting game, losing last-minute touchdown, 21-14. Abby K. Jada J. caught a touchdown pass for the Panthers. Bella R. made a great catch for two-point conversion. Blair R. was outstanding on defense, grabbing numerous flags, 10 plays. The whole team has been working hard in practice and has been paying off lots of positive results. The regular season starts Thursday, April 11th, here at Gems against 12 Bridges. Come out and support both teams. Way to go, Panthers. 7th grade boys volleyball fought a tough matchup at Springview but came out short, moving around the court quickly but needs to stop their unforced errors. The playing growth is great and the match tomorrow at home will be fun to watch. Come out and watch us play cross town rival 12 Bridges Middle School. The match is here and it starts at 4 p.m. 8th grade team come out, came out with the win against the first win of the season. Now back to Tori. Yearbooks can now be purchased in the office. Bring $60 exact cash or reserve your copy. And now we will leave you with an update about the yearbook. Have a great day, Panthers! Ever wonder what it's like working on the yearbook? This is what we got from some students on what, about, on what it's like. My position is that uh, we make all the business uh, ads and all the 8th grade ads. Uh, the hardest part of my position is people not sending in their 8th grade or business ads, and yeah. So as an editor, I do final editing of the book, and I also take most, con me and the other editors, we take most control over the class to see like what kinds of pages we're doing, if the pages ideas are good or not. Um, and then the most struggles I have with being an editor are um, overall just making sure everyone stays focused on their work and um, making sure that pages are getting done right. This is reporter Reed Jones with videographer Brendan Ristaw with Gems TV. Camera Lou is not just a place to learn music, although we certainly started out that way. It's a place to become your best self, meaning our instructors meet you where you're at and help you achieve your goals. Located in the heart of Lincoln's downtown and the 12 Bridges neighborhood, we have a teacher for every age, stage, and budget. From our mini Mozart's classes to our adult tap, Tamara Lou offers everything, including private and group classes, a triple threat performance program, and a literacy intervention and enrichment program. Tamara Lou Studios, be your own star. And now we'd like to thank our sponsors, Platinum Level, Tamara Lou Studios, Morel Events, Far West Rentals, Sierra Pacific, Police Athletic League, Gold Level, Empire Gymnastics. And now, our silver sponsors, Escazon Village Roseville, One Nest Property Management, T-Mobile, Ridgeway Family, Collision Pros, Stable Constructions, and McAllister Floor. Thank you for watching Gems TV.